The cosmos imaginary has always been present in the most diverse areas of entertainment. Since movies, books and video games, the premises behind a sci-fi story have never had an end in sight. Hi folks, it's Exile and this is my Lunar review. Also, did you know that 94% of you aren't subscribed? Hit that subscribe button, come hang out and let's reach that 1k subscribers goal. Lunark is a love letter to a genre that has remained active since the early days of video games, the cinematic platformer genre. Who doesn't remember spending a good few hours jumping from platform to platform in Prince of Persia, or the cutscene super ahead of time from Flashback? Lunark is inspired by the super methodical jumps of those same titles, but it prints its own identity. Although it does not revolutionize the sci-fi genre, it is an adventure that keeps the player attentive to what is happening on the screen. This adventure is set in the world of Alborain, where the player will play the role of Leo, a boy with very different physical characteristics and who has a rare condition that causes him to age prematurely. Centuries ago, the moon was transformed into a gigantic spaceship by an artificial intelligence called Noah, with the intention of saving the human's race from its extinction since the Earth was going through a very complicated period. The idea was to transport millions of human embryos to the nearest habitat planet in the initiative called Lunark. The player will begin their time in this title in a moment where Liu is caught by surprise in the midst of a rebellion against the Lunark regime. Liu is seen as a rebel after an event that led to the explosion of his ship near Gideon's headquarters. With no other alternative, he starts his escape after being tasked by Gideon to look for an artifact with very special characteristics. Throughout the adventure and in the midst of jumping, puzzles and shooting against the army of droids, the mystery of its own origin will gradually be unraveled. There is a specific feeling controlling the character that is undoubtedly one of the most striking parts of this title, that for those who are not used to it can print equal amounts of charm and frustration. Movement and all the actions that Liu can perform, like firing his weapon, using his protective shield or jumping while running, have to be measured and calculated perfectly. It's a system that at first glance can convey a feeling of unresponsiveness, but once you get used to it, you can enjoy every little moment. In fact, I didn't find any bug or problem related to the game mechanics, just my lack of skill when jumping in motion. Looks like a health fruit I might need it if I am injured so can I can I pick it up <laughs> to cross a room full of cards it's possible to have one of two different approaches stealth or combat Leo is equipped with a roll ability that not only allows him to pass through tight areas, but also allows him to dodge attack from guards or position himself more favorably. Each enemy type needs to take a different number of shots to go down and has a different attack pattern. The important aspect in this sense is to really learn their attack pattern so that it is possible to calculate the next move. Checkpoints can sometimes be quite far apart and a misjudged jump traps or enemy encounters can easily reduce Leo's health to zero. However, the objects collected so far will be stored in the inventory, thus allowing the player to continue the action without the need to repeat his task again. Lunark is undoubtedly a milestone in cinematic platformers. The brilliant animation translated into low resolution pixel adds a very demarked detail of charm. The affection imprinted in this game is also visible in the fantastic cutscenes scattered throughout the title. While it's possible to finish your story in about 6 hours, it's a pretty juicy 6 hours. Alborine's story is a lot more complicated than it appears, and Leo's journey to Lunark won't leave the planet and the player the same as when they began. 